So, all right, we are now recording. Let me get the speaker view up. Don, are you there? Are you, uh, I'm here. All right, I'm here, Brad. All righty, guys. Welcome to Health Huddle. We do this every single Monday. Uh, at least one call a week where we can, oops, that's got to mute everyone real quick, Don, so you'll take yourself off mute here in a second. All right, everyone's remuted. Um, welcome, whether you're watching the recording or, actually, Donna, can you unmute yourself? I'm unmuted. There you go, you're all set now, now you're on my screen. Um, whether you are watching the recording, watching live from my phone or somebody else's phone, or here on the Zoom, we want to welcome you. We do this every single week. As part of your support, we have a weekly call once a week. So um, we'll have more information to come on that. We also have a Habits of Health call, but this is our health call. We do it every single Monday to kick it off. And if you're new, we want to say welcome. But if you are experienced with us this last little bit, you know that we are wrapping up what we call a focus group. So we decided to, I mean, I'm going to give you the short version, but you're always working on your health. Like it's never ending. Like my dad's, my dad's scenario of it is, it's like a laundry, it's never done. You're coming back to the basics, you're working on new levels. You know, we covered a lot of great things this last week. And tomorrow marks the 30 days of our focus group and the topics. We'll be covering a lot of that tonight. Um, and even then some more than 30 days because we actually had a whole week of preparation showing you the habit of how preparation bleeds in the journey. So tonight is like the whole recap and like the tying it all together, like the, the plot twist ending that's like oh my gosh I didn't realize that that's what it was all involved so Don uh, before we even get into it like I know we've had I've had some like magnificent conversations with people so I can only imagine like how many people have been enjoying this like share from your side I know you've had a few people like this was exactly the click that has helped them like we were talking about and um, actually yeah, go, go for that because I'll explain a little bit more about why we started this as, as we get into the recap tonight yeah, Brad. No, it has been awesome. Um, so we have had people who, you know, are, have been tuning in since the beginning, right? So we're headed into week five. We're kind of recapping it and then some just joining, but Brad, so many shifts, so many awesome takeaways from every single week. We've hit on some really tangible topics that are all building on each other on this, you know, really about creating health in our lives, um, kind of owning it, right? Um, I know we're going to talk about this is like the, this is the anti-challenge because this isn't about doing it for doing something for a month and then giving up or throwing in the towel. This is really about learning those habits and building upon each other. And each week as I'm connecting with clients and just hearing from other coaches, you know, sharing from, you know, their clients, just these awesome takeaways. Like, you know, we've had some people that have um, gone in and worked on their health um, in the past, but maybe it hasn't quite stuck. Maybe it hasn't, there hasn't been that shift or that click and, um, it's clicking now for a lot of people. And a lot of it is just this shift in perspective that health isn't something that you just do for a minute. It's something that you work on and you practice over time. So, I mean, Brad, I, I am loving just every week hearing the takeaways, um, Hearing the takeaways from the very beginning on, you know, just practicing and setting up uh, our intentions all the way up till like working on our, um, how we shift our resources and you know, what you and Ashley talked about igniting wealth. I mean, seriously, some amazing topics and amazing takeaways every single week. Exactly. And kind of, that's how we got to this is if you're having these shifts, you probably got started at one point and you fell flat on your face is what you would probably assume, like how that's looked before. I know I did in the beginning. I had to learn a lot through this process. So we wanted to hit on kind of how this came to be, you know, now that we're here at the end, like looking back at the beginning is a lot of people ask us like in the new year, like, all right, are you doing a challenge? Are you doing some kind of fitness competition or something like that? And this year, and we have done in the past, but just being completely honest, and I hope it actually like shows you in this process, a lot of the people that won those in the past are completely back where they started and then some, like in, in a not good format. And so it shows you that that's not the sustainable way, a diet format. That's not the way that is creating those stories like you are seeing or you heard from on the people on, uh, that shared throughout this process or the before and after pictures or the people that spoke. Because we really wanted to grab some speakers that I would say are almost experts in this area. And experts doesn't mean they're perfect. It's, it's all about progress over perfection. But we just wanted to be like, no, we don't have a challenge because – we want to teach you guys those things because a lot of people will be like, I just don't know why I don't get it. Like, 
how come this is so hard? Like, I can't ever seem to stay in routine. Like, I can get going for a little bit, but then I always end why, why, why have you been able to lose 45 pounds and keep up? April, how did you lose all of your weight and keep it off? Like, how do you, like, how are you doing the exercise and fitness that you're doing? Like, Lori's store, I, we can go on forever. I'm just one of the people I can see on my screen right now. So we wanted to show you that. And I feel like, Don, like, I feel like we've had some of those shifts. So as we start tonight, tonight's where we tie it all together. So I'd like you guys to do a couple different things. It's going to be really big workshop style because we're going to actually pull it all together tonight. So one, I'd like you guys to go back, and here's kind of a test. This is also a lesson in it. Grab your intention paper that you started when you first started this focus group. And some of you are probably thinking, I have no idea where that's at. And that's just a lesson itself, not good nor bad. It just shows you kind of like the habits that we get into. If you're new, then just think about where you were when you first started, like maybe a few weeks ago. This will still be good here. But grab that piece of paper. And as we're doing this, as we're giving some people some time to grab their paper, um, I'd like people to open up the chat and just be like, name, after getting started here, name one thing for you that's massively shift for you through this process. And so we'll give people a second to do that. Don, what's something that shifted for you? Because you're always learning. I grab you as someone that I would say is an expert in this field, but I know you had some wins that was a big one for you this last little bit. What was a win for you? Yeah, you know, a huge win for me was um, being intentional while traveling because I love to travel and not realizing that it's not about being perfect. And so it was just, it's a practice. And I do travel a lot, but it's that practice of being mindful of still eating every two to three hours, um, really getting into a good routine on um, like my four and two when I was traveling, uh, taking things with me. That was a huge shift because I've done it before, but sometimes I get busy and I don't necessarily stick to my plan like after I get there and get kind of settled in for a day or two. So I mean, for me, it's just in all transparency, continuing to practice, continuing to be diligent. Um, at my health while I'm doing the things that I love to do. So for me, that, that is, that was a huge shift for me, continuing to practice, not feeling like I have to be perfect. Yeah. Cause you know, I help a lot of people do this. Cause when you get in the routine, doesn't it just also seem effortless? Like you don't have to think about it anymore. Things that you had to think about before become like, Oh, that's just what I do now. Like after you cement it in. Absolutely. Yep. I love that. So this is where we're going tonight. And I see a few things pop in the chat. Some of this is actually meant for reflection. So that's why we want you to grab that piece of paper that you started with from the beginning and maybe even a blank piece of paper. Because this is the point that wraps it all together. And Don has some slides for you later on. But if, if you are here, wherever you're at in that spectrum that I was talking about, you have, I want you guys, this is what to take away, is you've made the decision to become healthy like to live a healthy lifestyle. You can be excelling at that. You may be candy missile with your like super low body fat percentage and fitness every single day and like, you know, all the different things. Or you may just be starting to think like, wow, I'm letting go of the fact that like, I've always told myself that would never be me. You're somewhere on that spectrum. So, but if you're here, this is the point tonight. And own this. And this is part of the whole process of igniting your health and the whole point of this group is you are to live an Optavia lifestyle, which is your optimal health moving forward constantly, daily, not perfection, but progress. And so this is what this looks like, is, you know, because there's a lot of things you can cover. We cover all the different areas that you can focus on, but basically it starts with this small, short format here, is making the decision that you're living a lifestyle of eating healthy meals six times a day, because that's the way our body was meant to, to have, or to be fed, and to build and create success on each day and mindfulness in every area of your life. We cover body, mind, and health. So, uh, Don, I can't really see the chat because I'm sharing the screen right now and I see a bunch of things popping in. Like, what are some of the things that are, that are popping in right now? It's just awesome. I actually was just catching up on that. So, um, so like, Sunny sharing that just learning how to let go of fear of disappointing people, which has um, in turn been, you know, being not so hard on um, myself and then learning how to celebrate my wins and not just focus on where, where I'm failing. Wow. That is huge, sunny, huge win. Um, Andrea powers was sharing that she's um, learning to utilize nutrition support. And so the different tools and things that we have going on. Yeah. So a bunch of different things in there. I love that. And so sunny, you kind of took the show. That's exactly 
what we're talking about tonight. And that's actually where we're going to lead everyone to. So I hope you have a piece of paper so you can expand on that. So those are the two things. That, I mean, one, you are the three things. You made the decision to become healthy. So I hope you guys own that and that it's a process and that there's victory. So at the end of this, and we're going to get to this in a second, is that the human condition is they'll probably look back and be like, oh, I didn't do this right, or I'm not doing good here, or be disappointed. Like, that's just the way our minds work. But we want to train it to be like what Sonny's talking about, to look at the progress, to see the habits being changed. And actually tonight, we're going to actually kind of bring it all together because you guys already start, probably have started to forget a lot of the topics we covered five weeks ago because they're now like the old view and you don't even remember and you don't even realize you made the shift. And maybe because you're forgetting to practice them or because they've all become a part of your lifestyle and you didn't even think that that was going to be part of it a few weeks ago. So is one, you made the decision. You're eating six times a day, depending on whatever is right on your plan, and you're building success each day. So grab that piece of paper, because this is what we're going to go into tonight, is three things that we're going to ask. This is going to be workshop style, so we're going to have some time to write this down. I always have like, pieces of paper in my office, so I got one right here. Is number one, is the key to success is just like I was talking about, is looking at how much progress you made. So as we wrap the bow on these, this focus group, we're going to revisit some of the topics here. It's all about looking at the progress you made. And soon this will be a habit of yours, trust me. Kind of like Don, you were talking with me before the calls. We will believe for people that this will be their process before they believe it. And some of you are now understanding this. But we wanted to actually grab you guys and help you guys take the time to practice this because it's not something that comes natural. So I thought I'd even start off with an example before Don takes us through the exercise. And I want to actually give examples, because I wanted to bring on a bunch of people to share tonight, but honestly, I just couldn't pick one. Like, that was kind of my problem. Like, I think that's something truly in itself. Like, I couldn't pick just one person full tonight. So I actually just thought I would use an example. And she's actually not here tonight for one of those, for those reasons. So I want to use Sarah Graves. Many of you guys know her. Um, she has a great before and after photo. But Sarah Graves has started, I tried the food in the past. And she couldn't make it really past more than a couple weeks. She never really like made a, a mental shift. She never got any clarity. She never plugged in. She never really brought in any, any support. She never really thought about it making a change. She just, I mean, if she was here tonight, she would tell you she started to do a diet and see how long she could hold on to lose some weight because hopefully she would be successful at it. This last year, she made a choice to do it completely different. She said she was going to get fully committed. Like she did the things that we encouraged her to do and she jumped full into the process. And so many of you know that she lost all of the weight and then some that she was looking to for her wedding. She's now since gotten uh, pregnant and she's having uh, their second child. She's actually learning like what it's like to be healthy beyond weight loss being the goal, like actually build it into the lifestyle and focusing on little things like that. So she's actually having the healthiest pregnancy she's ever had. This is what we're talking about when it comes to mindfulness and building a lifestyle. And as far as like understanding like the healthy body, healthy mind and healthy finances, she's even shared with us like, this has helped her to like figure out like where she wants to actually expand in healthy relationships and how she, she takes part in that. And to even prove the point even further, the reason why she can't speak tonight is because she's setting up how, how her and Aaron can buy their first house tonight for, for their first house purchase. Like that is optimal health. And we'll be coming back to that in a little bit, but you can see that there's a shift. And like, I'm sure many of you guys are like, that's exactly what I want. I want to be Sarah. I want to lose my weight and keep it off. And learn how to do things beyond just losing weight and make that a part of my lifestyle. Well, that's exactly what we did this last little bit here. So, so as we give some people some time to reflect tonight, Don, you were going to take them through the step number one, um, which is writing down. I got mine because I'm going to write mine down as well. So what's number one here tonight that we're going to guide people through? Awesome. Let me share my screen, you guys, really quick. Cause I have some slides just to help, um, you know, so you have a visual. So let me get this all set up. There we go. So what we're going to talk about tonight is literally putting the pieces together. Okay. They all fit so beautifully and these build upon each other. And it's what we've been talking about over the last five weeks. So the first thing we're going to talk about is exactly what Brad was saying. Where have you made measurable progress? Okay. Because you, you're here, you're with us. Um, some of you, uh, have been tuning into the ignite focus group for going on five weeks. Now you set your intentions and you know, we had a bit of plan and, um, you really have been diligently working. And so, you know, you're kind of, there's kind of like, you know, Brad, you were saying three buckets of where we kind of fit in, like either you're killing it and you are so excited and you can like rattle off your head, you know, in a matter of seconds where you've made measurable progress, or you're looking at your progress, you know, like Sonny was saying, you're learning how to really stop and slow down for a moment and take account of the areas that you've truly made progress in. 
like Brad was saying, we believed in you guys until you believe it for yourselves. But over the last 30 days and this last few weeks, we've seen amazing progress. So um, where is that, that you've made measurable progress? And then, you know, maybe you're, you're coming in and you haven't gotten as far as you thought you would, but I love it. Someone's drawn on the screen, write down that progress. Go ahead, fill it in there. Um, but maybe you're literally stopping tonight and, and, or you're watching this recording and you've turned like you've shown up and that in, in and of itself is huge progress. Um, staying consistent in and diligent in the process because this is a process. So we're going to give you just a little bit of time, grab out that blank piece of paper and really take a moment and write down where have you made measurable progress? So we, we asked you to grab out your intentions and those are what you wrote down at the beginning um, that you wanted to make some progress in. So looking at those areas, pick three. Pick three things that you've done to make measurable progress. Um, Brad, do you have some examples or some ideas? Um, it can, I mean, we were talking earlier, it can be that you um, are rocking at making your meal plans. You know, is meal planning something you're solidifying into your schedule? Yeah, there could be a lot of things. Like if you're driving right now, don't write this down while you're driving. I see a few people on the screen driving right now. Yeah, Rosa, don't you write. Don't <laughs> you're driving. <laughs> not writing while you drive, but yeah, let's, let's give some people some time to write that down for a second. Mm -hmm. And I want us to kind of think about that. This is all about progress, not perfection. So these aren't, we're not asking you to write down areas that you've perfected. Okay. Cause I don't think any of us have perfected different areas. It's just where have you made tangible progress? Where can you measure? Um, maybe you're sleeping more. Maybe you're getting more hours of um, restful sleep. Maybe you're waking up um, feeling more rested. Maybe you've set more of a routine around that. Maybe you are down in some pant sizes. Maybe you've got some actual inches you can tangibly measure. Hey, Don, I think that's why we do this right now. Like, just like I was about to brag on myself, like, I'm pretty good at looking at what I made progress in while still pushing myself to be better. But I totally had forgotten that I've really rectified my sleep schedule since since the start of this year. So thank you for that other one. The other one that like I'm proud of is to give you guys some examples. Like I had tangibly lost four pounds, even though that wasn't my main goal. It's kind of just a, uh, a, 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 a symptom of being more on top of my nutrition. I've been taking my supplements every single day. Um, my workouts, like we moved. I totally lost my workout routine. It was a hard thing for me. And now I'm fully back in my workout routine. That is a huge win. Um, and we have now, because we live in a new place, we had to figure out where we were shopping at. So our meal prep schedule was totally on, on track when we cut, co we covered that. So those are just some of mine that maybe you guys might write down. I see a few people, if you, if you feel like you got this down and you want to share some of yours in the chat, go for it too. So yeah, yeah. I'm loving, I'm loving the chat. Um, Laura just shared that she has been better planning her time around friends and activities instead of food. That's huge. And literally this can probably maybe prime some of the things that people are like, wow, you can do that. Like for me, like I've been much better at mindfully making time for me to wake up and have breakfast with my son each morning. Like it's been part of my routine. It hits like all different dynamics. So that was one of my goals and I've been doing that really well. Not perfect, mind you, but way better than I was 30 days ago. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of this is if you've done it for 30 days, it's now starting to become a habit for you. It's now going to start being the norm, especially if you solidify it. Doreen saying going to bed earlier and be, I can't see the rest of it becoming. Uh, having going to bed earlier, becoming a routine. Kelly uh, was sharing that she's gotten back into the gym routine and keeping to a fueling schedule. Nice. Yep. Awesome. One of the things that um, I'm excited, we've been doing a season of traveling and now we're home for a little bit, but solidifying in like a family date day, family date afternoon, like that's something that's really important to us. And we, this is like the third week in a row we've done that. Um, so that has been awesome. Just setting that time aside for me also, um, water hydration has been key. So the, you guys in our client support group might've noticed we've been doing some water wars on Wednesdays. Yes. Well, that part of that's to help me keep myself accountable. <laughs> like it's all, it all wrapped up into one. So Sorry. I love that. Joe said 21 pounds lost needs new clothes, better sleep. Um, Oh, getting more than eight hours and letting go of stressors. Um, and you made a fitness goal of running a half marathon. I love that. 
All right, guys, we could go on and on, you know, as we're talking about these forever, but hopefully that's got some really good ideas, kind of got your brain pumping and going, and yeah. you've got a blank piece of paper you're working on. Don, before you head to the next one, that's the one I'd, I'd probably measure there is like actually getting this some tangible. I mean, we've hit so many ones outside of the realm of like what people normally do when they start like a nutrition plan or start working out for the first time, like mm -hmm. just about weight loss. Yeah, bring the weight loss one in there or size change or all that stuff. It's just important to look at all the other things you're doing well as well. So yeah, have some actual hard transformation in that mark. So look how much progress you made. If it's not exactly what you wanted to the full completion, what did you make progress on? The habit that you're learning here is how to look at what you're doing well and build on it. That's the thing that most people miss. When people ask, hey, Don, how'd you keep going? How'd you lose that weight? Hey, April, you're on my screen right now. How'd you lose your 50 plus pounds? I can't remember exactly how much you lost. But like, it was the fact that you didn't give up and you learned how to look at what the progress was, which made it easier and then more sustainable that all of a sudden you're not even thinking about it anymore. It's just becoming your lifestyle. So I think we hit that one really well, Don. What's the next thing? I think so. I think we did. Um, okay. Oh, and the other thing too is just, I like to think of where progress as scale and non-scale. So there you know to always kind of prompt yourself where the scale and the non-scale um, happy to report, Brad, you're my health coach. I'm down eight pounds in this last 30 days. So that's awesome. Just getting back into routine. Got to get that scale one in there too. Okay. Um, so as we go next, it's where would you like to see more progress? So in the same vein of looking at where you have made tangible progress, some areas might pop up that you're like, whoa, I didn't make as much progress in this area, or this isn't something that I was able to focus on maybe quite as diligently in this last season. And it's where you'd like to see progress focused on next. So um, maybe you did great getting your, um, you know, fitness routine or some, you know, healthy motion or rocking your fuelings and dropping some weight, but you'd like to see some inches change. You'd like to see some other areas. Like what are those? So Hey, Don, um, I'd, I'd even like to ask it another way for people here too. Yeah. Like even just being bolder, what didn't go well for you this? Like what horribly fell apart for you? Like seriously, what was the worst thing about these 30 days that did just not work for you? Like at the end of these 30 days, what did you do really well at the start and did not finish up at the end? Because when you're focused on getting healthier every single day, solidifying your routine, these aren't things that are a problem. These are things that you're like, wow, that was a big thing that helped, that held me up. That was a big like whatever it is, like speed bump, now you can navigate that as opposed to it being something that continually trips you up. So take a second to just literally write down like what did not go well for you at all that you learned about yourself in this process. I love that, Brad. Yeah. Where would you really like to see some more improvement on? And, um, you know, the cool thing too, Brad, is that that just gives us a platform right? It just gives us a platform to improve on. Yeah. Um, cause current reality isn't always comfortable. There are places that we fall short a little bit and that just gives us a really good clue into where we want to focus next. Like I'll tell you mine made a big goal to read uh, a personal development book. Totally flailed flat on my face on that one. I'm not a good reader naturally, but I desire to be better at. It. So like, would that mean a standout for me? I can do things to make that a different reality moving forward. Like that's just, that was one of my things. Not good at it. Not going to use that excuse forever. That's like what Ashley was talking about. Like that mindset that you tell yourself stuff. Yeah. Love that, Brad. Thanks for the transparency there. So if anyone has any things they want to throw in the chat, please feel free to, but this is really more for us to like get some top tangible things down so that we know where to focus on next. Let's see if there's anything in the, in the chat. So I'm, I'm loving, you know, not using my scale like I should when making food at home. There you go. Like kind of eyeballing lean and greens and things like that. Um, really needing to start, uh, really wanting to start working out and starting walking. I love it. Okay, guys. I think Got anything you want to add here? This is the one that's usually the easiest. It's like, it's always easy to look at what you didn't do well, but the difference is it's not, it's not to be like, ah, oh, I messed that up. It's, Look at what I did well. Okay, now the areas, these are things to improve upon, not things you did, like you messed up. Like that's the, such the typical thing. Like whenever I check in with people or touch base with them, and I totally thought this wouldn't be, and I always looked at what I didn't do well. And it's like that stuff will haunt you. And instead they can just become the things that are like, oh, yeah, I didn't do that great at that. Let's make it, like add it to your fuel of the fire to move forward. Because you can always move forward. There's always something else. To, there's always going to be a next season of focus group, something that we can do. You can get it next time. Like I'm all over the read next time. I'm going to get it. You'll see. Yep. 
I love it. And then Brad, I think you were going to um, focus on the next area, which is like, you know, where do we want to focus on? So I'll pull up that slide because it's really focusing in these last two areas and taking the time to slow down and write those down sets you up really well for this next step. Yeah. So this is the last thing that um, I'll say here before we go to the last two things and wrap up here today is I hear a lot like, I don't understand what you're talking about with these other areas, like healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances, like all these different areas in your health. Like I don't get it. And like, you know, it's easy because you see the food, like you get the food delivered to your house. Like that's easy. But hopefully you guys like Don, Don and I were talking about before the call, like you start are starting to see this. So we went over a bunch of things, the things that you guys voted on and also the things that honestly make the difference in all the, in the people that you see having those like massive success journeys that, you either had or are on your way of creating. And we went over a bunch of things and they are all vitally important. So um, these all go into living a full optavia lifestyle. We went over, I'm just looking at my notes real quick. We went over how to prepare, the importance of creating a vision versus just like throwing out goals and like actually having tangible things. This is all from the habits of health, mind you. Like we're not making this up. This is all Dr. A's proven theory of why we have these results. Uh, we went over um, bulletproof mindset. So embracing structure. Uh, mentality, focusing, structure around that. We went over that. That was week two. Ashley killed it. If you have not seen that, I recommend watching it over and over and over again. Uh, we talked about building a lifestyle because that's ultimately what we're doing here is building a lifestyle. We talked about uh, igniting wealth, which I think blew a bunch of people's minds. And it really, it honestly made me so excited to see how many people embrace that topic because they were like, wow, it's so easy to just put that in a box and not realize that that's actually connected to all of our journey. And we didn't just talk about making more money because that's not what it's about. It's actually about abundance and everything that we talk about in that because it does do that. I'm not going to go recap the topic. We can go back and watch the video. But then the next thing we hit on was sustainability, which is the practice long term of the things we're talking about. And this week is actually wrapping up your lifestyle, um, creating Optavia for yourself, your way, your life based on the simple principles. You can go take it whichever way you want. And that's what we're going over today. So, in the same notion of what we did well, what we, we, we want to improve on, I want to ask you guys, what are three things that you had no idea you were going to learn through this time? Like, and this is going to give you a practice because if you don't actually think about it and start continuing to think about it, it'll start to fade away and you won't solidify the habit. So I'm going to ask you guys, what are three things that you learned through this, this, like this series that blew your mind and you weren't even thinking about? It wasn't even on your radar. I'll give you guys some time to, to actually write those down. I'm going to write down mine real quick. Hey, Don, do you have any things that you want to share on that topic? Gosh, I'm just thinking about that. So many things. I mean, so many things about um, just even being mindful of our resources. So that week was powerful for me, Brad, the week number three, when you did talk about like, you know, budgeting and, um, you know, tangible ways to be mindful of our resources and abundant thinking. I love that. I was not honestly expecting when we came into this for us to go as deep and have that topic be so powerful. Yeah. Dylan just said in the chat, the finance abundance was amazing for her. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. we're take just a few more seconds to, uh, to think about that, Don, if you want to give any more. Yep. Yeah. Well, I just was also thinking back to um, some of our Thursday lives and um, Ashley sharing about perspective. That was huge. Oh, Dylan, that was an aha moment. <laughs> I think for me, and this one is a lesson in itself. I mean, we're, we're teaching this and I feel like we practice it. I mean, we called on literally, we could have had a bunch of people share throughout this whole process. That's what we normally do. But for this process, we wanted to give you people that literally, I feel like I've mastered this, mm -hmm. these things. But I want to show you, tell you what I learned that I wasn't expecting. I was blown away by how much I knew that I had forgotten. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that was probably my biggest thing right there is like so many of the, the basics where I was like, totally had forgotten about that. Like, so it's always good to like pre-practice the basics for a season and the mindfulness of it. And before we move on to the last one, Don's here, here. Um, the chart that showed the peaks and valleys of the journey that helped put things into perspective. That is a big one, Joe. Like seriously, that is the peaks and valleys. Like my wife's really good at talking about seasons because most people just go, go, go. And then they give up. But now with this, you have a new peak. Your lull should be way like higher than your other lull before you took that before. Because we grow, we learn, and now we expand. And now that's our new standard if you cement that into your schedule. 
Uh, Julie said mindset has been amazing. Love Ashley's perspective. Um, Dylan said the finance of like, the abundance finance was an aha moment for her. So yeah, I think a lot of people learned some things in there. I think for me, like another one that blew my mind was the sustainability one when we came back to that topic. Like a lot of the things you shared on, like was like, I knew it, but I relearned it again. Yep. A lot of that. And you know what, Brad, that just goes to show that, you know, we've been helping people and on this journey ourselves for seven, eight years. It's a process and it all builds upon each other. So um, hopefully that helps put it in perspective for some people out there who maybe are just beginning on their journey. Um, you don't get it overnight. It's not, it's not a, um, it's just not a one and done thing. It's literally putting the pieces together and then building season after season. So I love that. And I love that question, Brad, write down the three things that you learned that you didn't anticipate learning. Yeah. Cause a lot of people don't realize how it all ties together. But I think when we hit those different things, you now realize like, holy cow, like that's what the meal plan is just our, it's just our mechanism to build a foundation on. And then all these things that you can start expanding. You might put more attention to a different season um, going forward in our next focus group or after this, which is actually leads us to our last question, Don. So why don't you lead yeah. us out with our last question tonight? Absolutely. Let me share my screen so we can put it up here. So really the last question is, um, you know, in addition to just really thinking about where you're going from here, we've got some things for you to do this week. And that is write, write down your progress. Okay. So go back through this, that mindfulness, those three things where you have seen tangible progress and share it. Sharing it is huge. Um, it not only helps you lit, learn and solidify it, but it helps others learn and it can help create that, um, you know, support around you. So share it with your health coach, share it on your support page, um, share it in the world. Just go ahead and share it on your main Facebook if you want to. Um, but literally that is one step to take this week is take some time, write down where you've had some tangible progress and share it. Yeah. And then number two, Brad's going to talk about what we're going to be chatting about on Thursday and then on next Monday, but literally that's what we heard people talk about last week. We heard Christy and Amber share about building in this process of health. And this week we're putting it all together and then just giving you three action steps. Um, and the first is to write it down and share it with your health coach. And then tune in on Thursday as we learn how to write your story. Brad, you want to tell them a little bit about what we're going to be doing on Thursday? Yeah, but I actually want to go back one more slide first because we missed one. We missed our final okay. step in there. Oh my gosh, we did. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry guys. Yep. Our third step is literally where we're going from here. So now that you've written down where you've had progress and then what you've learned that you didn't anticipate and kind of going back through in Brad's awesome recap, that just sets you up to write down what's next on your horizon. And actually this is the pivotal point. This is the goal after the goal. This is what we're setting ourselves up for for this next slide and what we're going to be talking about Thursday and next Monday. And I think Brad might have dropped the little, um, the little sneak peek that we're going to be having another focus group coming up in the future to be determined. But literally this is um, where we're going with, you know, whether you are killing it, whether you are focusing on the, you know, the, the progress that you've made, whether you're looking at where, you know, where it fell apart and where you want to really step up your game this next time. Um, it literally lets us go into this next season of where do you want to go now? Given what you have seen is possible in 30 days, what are you excited about creating in the next 30 days? Can you see it? Like, can you see just given all the, all of the transformations that you're seeing, all that everybody's sharing, can you see how like we've been building on this and um, believing it for you and now you can see what's possible so you can write it down. Whether you wanna go back and you know listen to the intentions creation workshop we did at the very beginning, but like literally write down three areas you wanna work on and what's next for your health journey. Yeah, Dom, no, so we talked about that. Then, you know, I think it was Christy that talked about it great, the goal after the goal. Ashley talked about it in week one, and then Christy talked about it uh, last week. So the goal after the goal, like if this was your end point, then you missed the point. So, you know, but this might be the time to take a different peek or to look at different things, or it might be time to literally 
just keep going at a higher level. There's no reason to stop. You've started to build habits, like step it up to the next level. This is where you get to practice your mindfulness. And we'll have another focus group because we want to give you guys the support. That's probably, that's, I mean, that's probably one of the most beneficial thing of this community is we will help you refocus so you don't have to always be thinking about it. But for you next, like I, I know for me, I'm not stopping. I've built the habit. It's all become a habit for me. The things I focus on are now my norm. This isn't my time to relax. This isn't my time for the goal after the goal. Like I've already, I built the platform. So you're in one of those categories that Don talked about. So what's right for you this next season? We'll help you. We'll have another focus group. It'll probably happen in about a month, you know, so be ready for that. Um, but write down right now what's next for you because we just built on something right there. And this is the reason to like step it up or to change the season. Like I think we talked about that in building a lifestyle, Don. Ashley and I are totally different. And that's why we're doing this so you can learn. I like steady Eddie. I just like to be able to do the same thing over and over again. Like I can do the same lane and green like every single week because like it's easy for me. But Ashley is like, she's done fitness competition. She's done yoga. She became a yoga instructor. Well, I mean, she's never actually instructed, but she like, got certified. She did like a weightlifting competition because those are the things that like that ignite her is to constantly retool it. She still stayed with the basics, but she decided to go different seasons based on what she wanted to do. So that's where to take this today with wherever you're at. And then, like, like Don was saying, we gave this thing preview. Is, uh, go to that next slide, Don. Yeah. And like we were saying here is, who's, how are they doing line? Are arrows? I don't know, but that's really cool. I didn't know you could do arrows. Yeah. So, like, again, the learning never stops. Someone learned how to do arrows on the screen. I don't know where that's coming from. So, but uh, this week is, to, I mean, we did this. I mean, what's cool about this is we had a bunch of people taking progress on this, and they weren't even part of this. This was for the people that wanted to take it to the next level. This was just another support piece. But if you're really trying to get the best part of this, what you wrote down tonight, send that to your health coach. Talk with them about it this week. Share them where you're going next. If you really feel bold, share it in the support page. So that because when you start to write things down, like if you think about it, that increases your odds of success. If you write it down, it massively increases it even more. But when you write it down and tell other people, that's when like that's the highest rate of percentage that you will be successful in what you're doing. So that's what Don had for you this week. And then next week, between so Thursday what we will do is we will actually be sharing like the actual way to share your story because if you guys also recall our company's giving away 10 all expensive paid trip to our national health convention in July with Dr. Anderson. We want to help you guys make a video because you guys have all had these victories. Just everything you guys put in the chat. We want to help you guys be those winners. So we will go over in the thing of how to tell your story, how to start getting that set up. So you can look I mean so basically building on how to look at your health journey. And then Monday, we will actually have some examples. So if you want to share your story on Monday, let us know. We'd love to hear it. If not, we will have a bunch of people. We have like a number of people we can call on. So you guys can see examples of this. Plus, we always learn from the people around us and draw inspiration. Not comparison, but inspiration, like Ashley was talking about, another skill set we learned. And then we will teach you how to make those videos so that you guys can win. And then we're all here on this, so we can vote on our own videos, so we can make sure that the winners are from this group. It's kind of like an inside thing that we'll share with you. So that's what we're doing right now. So tune in Thursday to learn how to look at and tell your story. We'll be doing a short thing on that. And then Monday will be stories of inspiration from this last little bit and whole journeys so that you can learn the different ways to actually show, um, to show your story so you can win that trip or just to even solidify even further what you learned this last season. So with that being said, Don, that wraps up our last week of learning. We're not done. We saw this week and the health journey never ends, but that's what we're doing this week to wrap up these, these 30 days. And I can just tell by the chat that this has actually been very monumental for you guys. It's been monumental for me. So hopefully this has helped you guys see the exact shift of why we set it up this way. So Don, anything you want to add as we wrap up tonight and congratulate everyone on their ships and investing in themselves? Yeah, no, just congratulations, everyone. The chat was blowing up. Loved seeing where you guys have seen tangible improvements places you want to like step it up even more in this next season. Um, and then literally getting to write down where you want to go next. That's huge. So yeah, tune in Thursday. Um, we'll be talking about how to create your story and then Monday we'll be sharing and highlighting some of those. I mean, literally, uh, if you've got something to share, let us know, reach out and don't forget to, um, share this with your coach, right? Share this, share this in your community and then share it with your coach. That's yep. going to be huge. Exactly. So Don, I want to thank you for tonight, uh, for all the content the last few weeks, everyone who shared. But lastly, and this is another learning piece as it ties all together, I want to congratulate all of you for being a part. Because if not, it would just be us talking and we wouldn't be learning. Like everything you guys put in the chat, everything that's talked about on the support page, we all 
learn from each other. So I just want to say a big congrats for being a part of that because it all adds up. So that being said, congrats on your guys' 30 days and we look forward to the official wrap up and kind of showing off some, some different uh, learning pieces from this last little bit. So with that being said, take on this week. You've earned it. You've built it. Move it forward. That's what you do. Take it to the next level. Push yourself further or rest if that's what your season's ahead. You'll figure it out from actually paying attention to yourself. And the whole point of what this call is, build your optimal health lifestyle. You're figuring out what works for you. So have fun solidifying that this week. And I look forward to hearing people's takeaways um, next week. That's awesome. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.